All right, what is up, Knights of Apollo? How's it going, guys? Welcome back to our Foundation playthrough. This is episode number two, and I am looking to... In, well, in today's episode, our goal here is to try to make more money as we are losing money in trade. Uh, I guess we're buying too many tools, so let's try to slow that down. Here, let's go to the trade panel. Um, no? No? Here, let's just buy five tools for now. We'll keep selling 20 berries. Now, I'm trying to think of ways of us making money. Now, we are making plus 31 in the village through the marketplace, and then plus five through trade, which is not amazing. So, we might need to slow down here a little bit and look at what we have now and see how we can turn that into profit. So, obviously, the berries at the market, I mean, this is going quite well. Um, if we click on the market, you can see that uh, berries sold this week for 54 gold coins. We're making good money from the berries, right? We're making good monies. So what I think I'm going to do is I might harvest some more berries and sell more. We're also acquiring a lot of planks. We could sell some planks. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, especially since we're going to slow down with construction here a little bit. So let's go to the trade panel. And let's increase the amount of, uh, let's see, buy until inventory reaches the value. So yeah, let's sell 15, 15 planks. We'll, we'll keep it at 15. We're selling, oh wait, 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 not buy, not buy, sell, my bad. We want to sell. Uh, so hopefully that can help generate some more income because we are losing money. Uh, we we are gaining some new villagers, so that's good. So we're going to take it slow here and uh, see what we can do. Um, so for now, I'm just going to keep messing with trading. I'm not going to build anything yet. And hopefully we can get some stuff done. Are we still... Uh, yeah, stock maximum. We don't, we don't need fish here anymore. Empty the stock. Okay, there we go. Now we're stocking some... Okay, maybe that was our problem. We weren't stocking the maximum amount of berries. And it's important that we keep up with the berries because it's kind of the lifeline of the village right now as the, the market sells berries. Uh, it's making us gold. And of course, we're trading berries. So it's important stuff. Um, in terms of trade, I don't think we've traded anything yet. So I think with... Our money, we're going to go ahead and, and build another um, a gather hut or whatever it's called to gather more berries to increase that berry production because we do have a new villager arriving. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to the gathering hut. We want to make sure it's a little far away from the residential area uh, because you guys were giving me some good tips here about um, you know making sure that you keep industry away from the residential area or because it won't make them as happy but this needs to be here and hopefully it's not too big of a deal also the well is for residential areas so we might want to replace this well and move it a little bit closer to the neighborhood maybe like put it right here It'd be a cool little spot but let's go ahead and start construction and money is still hurting we're still losing money i don't know maybe it would be a good idea to like craft our own tools here we'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit all right new villager arrives we'll assign her to a gatherer a new tier of unlockables nice oh yeah that's right the dairy farm so we wanted to go and, and make cheese i think that would be a nice nice added thing and here we go now the economy's booming now it's booming. This is good. It's doing a little bit better. We're still kind of losing money. <laughs> Man. Maybe we could... Sell more planks? Yeah, maybe we could sell more planks. That's okay. As long as we're like, our money's going up. Alright, so let's go ahead and assign a free worker 
Jane, welcome to the neighborhood. Get to work. <laughs> Get to work. So let's look. I'm pretty sure all our workers are working. Very good. Looks like a bunch of people are going to church. Let's go worship. And there we go. Now we're making money. Now we're making money, guys. This is good. Increase that berry production. We'll go ahead and slow it down here. Because I want to think about what we're going to do next. Now, we kind of need some more villagers, right? Uh, we need more villagers so we can establish a cheese production. And sell that cheese at the market. Which I think will help us make even more money. Which will be really good. So let's move the well. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. We'll get some of our resources back. And then let's pause it actually. Because I don't want anybody to go thirsty. And then we need to build a new well. Which we're going to put back here. Which this is much better. It's going to hit all the homes and a little bit more. Why is it... It lets me build the well in someone's house. We'll put it, like, right here. Right here. There we go. So we'll start construction. And two decided... Perfect. We need more people. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're building a lot of planks. You know, we could... Hold on. Let's slow this down again. I'm curious... If we look at our trade route... So they're buying planks for five gold. We could increase that. Because we have so many... I mean, I'm sure once we start building, we're going to need those planks. So let's not get too too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, we'll leave the planks as is. Okay, so I guess... Are we ready to build our cheese? I think we are. So I've never done this. Cheese is new to me. So we need a dairy farm and then a cheese maker. I'm just making sure I'm just kind of reading up on the 25 gold see that's the that's the risk is it does cost gold to maintain I'm curious ooh the cheese is kind of expensive what is something that is more doable so we can get a stonemason's hut which would um we need cloth though windmill maybe we should maybe we should go with bread first bread looks like it's more doable we just need a bakery, a wheat farm, and a windmill. So we'll start with the wheat farm. And we'll put it out in the outskirts. I think this will be a good location. Somewhere around here. So where's the entrance? Right here. Hmm. Yeah, this will be some good farmland. I assume. We'll put it right back here. And we'll get that going. Here we go. We just used up all of our tools. I, I still gotta like remember how trading works. Are we like max holding 10? Like can we hold more than 10? A monk is requesting your audience. My lord, the king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of its churches, but our own workers are in need of, are in need as well. Choose okay. I shall let's help the clergy this time. So deliver fifty planks. Alright. We should be able to do that now. There we go. Excellent. So we helped the clergy a little bit. We got some workers who aren't working. But we're going to wait here a little bit until we get these uh, this wheat farm done. Because I don't want to assign these workers to a job just yet. They're going to have to hang tight a little bit. Are we still making good money from... Oh yeah, 180 gold. That's perfect. That is perfect. And how's the... Um, Mm, berries are going quick. Berries are going quick. We might, you know what? Let me assign another a forager. John, John the forager. <laughs> okay, cool. So wheat is going to be an important aspect to this village as we will start producing. Uh, we'll start producing 
you know, bread, obviously. And we might set it up over here. There we go. Nice. We're still getting some nice wood going. Everything else seems to be running quite smoothly. We're making good money now. We're making good money. Oh, we're making 22 gold from trade. Not even losing anything. We're still buying tools, correct? We might, I could up the tools amount. We'll do that. I just want to make sure, like, I never get that right. Like, can we buy more tools? 20 gold. Oof. Selling tools for 20 gold. It's going to be expensive, that's for sure. But we need the tools. And maybe that's why, like, I should have built a blacksmith first. Because we need... Oh, okay, we got the 10 tools. Here, prioritize this construction. Okay. We're doing good. I'm just waiting for more tools to appear maybe I have to leave it on accept see I don't know the difference between s accept and stock maximum like stock as much as possible correct like that's what that means all right so we'll speed this up so we can get the farm going and we start making bread. There we go. Nice. We got 10 tools. We're still doing good. Doing good with money. But the more we build, you know, the more maintenance and the more gold it's going to cost. So we need the bread to start, you know, we need to start making good money from the bread. There we go. Okay, we got some tools. Perfect. So once we build this and we get farms going, we need the windmills. And then we need the bakery. Which I'm going to keep all those buildings together. The fresh bread will be made. This will be all basically industry over here. And let me just double check. Mm. Let me... Mm. Let me remove some of this. Like so. Okay. I don't want it too close to the industry. And there's the new well. <laughs> right behind someone's house. Happiness is 90. That's good. We're starting to lose money now. Because of the trading, I assume. New villager arrives. Perfect. Well, while we wait... Um, so close to being done. I don't want to assign any workers just yet. Because I know we have... We've got... Three unemployed. Boom. Alright, how many can we assign here? Let's assign villager. We'll assign two here. And... All this can be cropped. This will be a fertile farmland. Uh, hopefully they just like naturally knock down the trees. Okay, so that's going to cost money. So we need to get a windmill going as quick as possible. I think this would be a cool spot for a windmill right here. So it might be a little little close to the um, residential area, but they they can deal with it. So the windmill, have it face this way. Put it right there. Dark construction. Perfect. Alright, they're growing their crops. We will have bread in no time. Promotion available. Uh, let's promote a couple. I don't want to spend too many. I don't know how this promotion stuff works. Uh, I'll promote one of these guys. I, I think when you promote them, they'll, like, buy different things or something. Like, I... I yeah. I'm gonna need your help with that one, guys. <laughs> okay. So this seems to be going well. We'll speed it up a little bit. 
Just making sure we're not losing money too much. Everything else is... We might need some more woodcutters. Do we still have three? We do. We might have to assign another one, though. But we're doing okay for now. Are we stockpiling wood? No, just the planks. And here's our building supplies. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, we're constantly adding people to the village. Which is good, because we're going to need... We're going to need some people to work the new buildings. And the windmill is almost halfway done. The farms are not quite growing yet. It's starting to look like a village. A house is upgrading. Oh, that's right. You know why? Because we upgraded one of our people. Uh-oh, housing space. We need more housing space. Okay. Let's pause this for now. Can they not build here? Hmm. We need more housing space, huh? Well, you're just going to have to live desirability low. That's not good. See, all this area is low desirability because that's our industry. We could save up and buy this land and make it all residential and kind of bleed the resi residential outwards like this. Uh, but for now... For now, we'll, ex we'll expand residential like so so there's more space. We'll go back to press play. We might have to build more wells to keep them happy. And the windmill is so close to being done. Uh, our stone is going quite well. We might even want to get a stone stone mason to get going so we can because I think there's more elaborate buildings we can get that require stone. Yeah, see like polished stone for the cheese maker. We don't need it for the bread though, which is good. That's why we're starting with bread. What are my farmers doing? Oh, here we go. Nice. Let's assign a villager to the windmill. Oh, look at that. Isn't that isn't that nice? That's fancy. That's fancy. I like how someone's like building their house like <laughs> right next to the pathway to the church. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. Okay. Nice. So how many people need jobs? We got two people that are unemployed. Or one person, I think. So now we need to put in the bakery. We Maybe we should put the bakery over here. Because this is like our industry section. So let's get the... We want the bakery. Yeah, we'll put it over here. How, why does it let me build? That's kind of weird. We'll build it right here. Okay. So the bakery is going down. We still don't have any wheat. I mean, okay. We can start storing wheat, possibly. Flour. We should probably start storing flour to the max amount. That way the baker can grab it from there. 
But yeah, we don't we don't have any wheat. And I, I'm getting I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, and our happiness is down. Two villagers lack too many wait, hold on, pause. We gotta fix this. Two villagers have lacked homes uh, too many times. We'll build more homes. I, there should be plenty of space. That I don't understand. Uh, let's see what else is. Three villagers have lacked religion too many times. And four villagers have lacked. What? Four villagers lack something. Okay, well, I hopefully that just works out. I guess, do we need to expand this church? It's not, oh, it's it's full, 20 out of 20. And how many, how many people do we have? Probably more than 20, right? We have 27. So I think we're gonna have to expand the church. So it can hold more? Let's see, let me just make sure that's true. We can expand it like this. Uh, wooden extension. What does that do? Increases it by five. So maybe two wooden extensions. Kind of doesn't make any sense, but. Okay, sure. We'll put a wooden extension. And then... We'll put one there, and then one there. It's not pretty, but... Hopefully that ex that makes the church a little bit bigger. So we can... Uh, have more people, you know, be able to go to church. I See, like, I want to buy this land here and just make it pure residential. But we might have to wait a little bit until I get a better economy going. But, like, people are constantly joining, and we gotta keep up with it. I'm just glad we're still making money. Because <laughs> I feel like this could go very poorly, very quickly. I don't understand why they're just not building more houses. Because, like, I can't build houses. There we go. There's another house. There we go. Hey, some farms are forming. Nice. <laughs> Zero decided to join your village. Good. We have uh, too many people as is. Okay, we're not making much money here. And there's like houses being built all around the church. <laughs> That's okay. Is the bakery done yet? No? Oh, are we out of stone? No, we're not out of stone. All right, we've got another situation on our hands. Somebody's coming by to give us a message. Uh, have we produced any wheat? No. Okay, we probably have to wait till the farms to fully develop. Yes, what is it? My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Eating out. Um... We should probably assist the people. Yeah, we'll get 200 gold coins too. So we need 20 fish. So what we'll do is, um, obviously we're gonna buy fish. So we need to trade for it just one time. And this will probably put us in a little bit of a deficit, but we'll get this up to 20. And as soon as we have 20 fish, we are going to stop. <laughs> yeah, we're bleeding money now. Oof. 
We are bleeding money. Maybe we should have slowed down here. But the whole bakery stuff. Oh, no. Okay, do we have... Our fish yet? Probably not. Oh, we're barely hanging on. <laughs> we're barely hanging on to positive. Oh, yeah, look at that wheat. Look at that. That's a beautiful... I mean, it's, a, it's not a... We need to do some reorganiza reorganization once we once we've like fixed everything. Man, can we get this church upgrade going? Like I didn't think the bakery was going to take this long. Okay, I'm going to use this to gather stone. quite have our fish yet. So, no, no fish yet. We have to wait for a trader. We have 60 days. We're still in the positive for now, which is good. Happiness is going up, but we really need to fix the religion. We have new villagers joining us. Okay, one new villager. Let's go ahead and look at these villagers. Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of... Okay, let's increase this. Let's get another villager here. Another villager here. We still have one employed, but I'm going to save her for the bakery. So we can start producing some bread. And the more villagers... We should make more gold from berries, but the more demand. So good thing we've got this foraging going on. Now that it's maxed out, we should be producing a lot of berries. The bakery is almost done. And how's our fish? Come on. Wait, hold on. Are we buying fish? Did I say to buy fish? I didn't do anything. That's why. Buy. Buy 20 fish, please. Promotion available. Gotta be careful with these promotions, but we'll promote, promote one of them to a surf. The bakery is almost done. That is exciting. So our marketplace is going to... Oh, look at this. We're making flour now. Perfect. Perfect. This is going all according to plan. The bakery is done. Let's go ahead and assign. There we go. And we are gathering flour as soon as it's uh, being made. Hopefully we got enough flour there to really pump out the... Nice. Another villager. Pump out the bread. Oh, this is coming, coming together nicely, guys. Okay, it is a little touch and go at some places, you know, uh, but it's 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 doing well All right, and look at this we've got bread already that's amazing Are we where are we storing it? Uh, we should store the bread here And then we can start selling it and that should help us make more money now, I have a question about... Oh. Hey, did we get our fish? I think we did. Alright, we delivered it. That's good. We're gonna get 200 gold from that. And then we need to stop... We need to stop buying fish. So let's uh, get rid of that. Save some money. Sorry, guys. Enjoy your fish, but no more. No more after that. Happiness is going back up. We might have to build another well. Is there a way to see the... The area of effect of this well? We might have to put another well. We can put one up here by the church. Just to make sure... Now, it does cost more gold, but... Just to make sure they can... Um, you know, get some water. 
And we have expanded the church. So now it can hold 35 people. Which we have 30. So religion issues should not be a, a, an issue anymore. And then we need to build our new well. We'll do that a little bit later. Let's just keep going here. Alright, 16 bread. That's good. So let's... We got to build another market. We got to build a bread market. Um, where can we build this? We're kind of running out of space here. But I want to kind of keep the markets together. We could try to squeeze one here. Yeah, okay. Let's build another market so we can sell this bread. Or do... Let's see. Okay. No, I was going to ask. Maybe people go there and buy the bread, but I don't think that's how it works. You need a middleman to sell. So... We will put the market. We could put it like right here. Yeah, let's just put it right here. And it will be a food stall. People people can go up and buy. And uh, let's see, blue tent or red tent? Blue for bread. Requires five cloth. Hopefully we have that. All right. And, of course, we need to assign another merchant who's going to sell the bread. And that should help us make more money, which we desperately need. Because I want to expand, and I want to make this a new residential area. Maybe build another farm as well. It's looking good. Look at her. Look at her make bread. That's amazing. What a fun job that would be. Make fresh bread. Ah, oh, delicious. Fresh bread for the village. How's the flour? Good. Bread's doing well. Yeah, we might have to build another farm to upkeep that. But, you know, make sure we have enough production of bread. Happiness is almost at 90 very good. Villagers should not be having an issue of getting into the church because now it fits 35. Oh, oh, we need a priest. How do we assign a priest? I've never done that. I don't think I've done that. Interesting. Can I make one of these guys a priest? Let me just see. What it might be is that you might have to level them up. Three new villagers? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we uh can we hurry up and build this? See, I don't we don't have any cloth. That's the problem. I might have to trade some cloth really quick. So let's change this to cloth. And we need to just five. Just five. And... Yeah. So we'll keep that going. Nice. New villagers have joined. Build this market. We will sell, sell fresh bread and berries. Bread and berries. Got, ooh, you know what would be really good? Toasted bread. You make like a jam from the berries. That, that would be pretty sweet. It would be a delicacy. That's for sure. Alright, so the market's pretty much done. We're going to go ahead and assign someone to it. And then we're going to sell bread at the market. So that's just another, another way we can make money for the village. And the economy is doing really well. Did we get our cloth yet? Not yet. We have to wait for the trader to show up. And the farms are doing well. Yeah, I might put another farm down here. Because we have plenty of workers. Then we can produce even more bread. Market is complete. Alright, let's pause it here and take a moment and make sure that we have... Okay, we have one, two, three people unemployed. And then let's see, like what needs the bakery could be assigned to another person 
Builder's Workshop. Builder's Workshop. We have a Builder's Workshop? Why am I drawing a blank on that? Oh, we just have two Builders, I guess? Food stall, so that's good. A granary. We need more transporters. Stone cutter camp. We can have five of them now? And then the warehouse. Okay. So let's assign another baker. And let's assign another miner. And what else? Let's just have five miners. I think that's all of them, right? Everybody has a job now. What's oh what's wrong? Can't find a place to work. Oh, maybe maybe we have to press play and that will go away. You should all have a place to work. There we go. Okay, good. They all have a place to work. So I'm trying to make sure we fill up all the jobs for the current industry that we have now before we start expanding. I might put another farm here. I think we should put another well down too. We'll go ahead and do that. Let's build a well. We can put it right by the church. That's a cool spot. Build that well. All right, more people wanting to join. I think we should up the wheat production. Money's good. Oh yeah, we're making good money. Good money. How much, how much are we making? 24 so far from bread? I'm sure the villagers enjoy the variety now of food, but... Or should we build a blacksmith? I'm thinking maybe a blacksmith or a stonemason. There's so much. There's so much we kind of need to build. Stonemason would help us... Maybe we should... Or maybe we should get a sheep farm. A weaver's hut. That way we can produce our own cloth and then it okay let's do that you know what let's do let's go so we can produce our own cloth we'll put a sheep farm down here so it doesn't need all this space so we'll put it right there and then um we'll, we'll for the farming here. Hold on. Let's exit out of this. We will, um, leave all of this, but make some space here for the sheep farm. Okay, they're not even farming out here anyways, so. Okay, did we build it? Yeah, I think so. So once we have the sheep farm, we're gonna need... The Weavery Hut. Wait, what's going on here? Okay, that's the sheep farm. Okay, I was like, wait, what is he doing? Alright, so sheep farm. And then the Weavery Hut. Which should be close by as well. Similar to the windmill and the, the weed farm. So we could put that... Again, I don't want it too close to the residential area. So... Let's see, where should we put this? We could put it down here. We also want to make sure we have space for the sheep farm. It would be a good spot up here, but I don't want it too close to these houses. So we'll put it next to the windmill. Where's the entrance? It's right here. We'll put it like this. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to be producing our own cloth. And we're making good money now. Uh, we could probably even sell some of our bread. Is the trader looking to buy bread? Is it even worth it? Let's see, they're, they're buying wine, polished stone, planks, polished wine for 120. Oof. That would be some good money right there. Oh, we got another message here. Eating out. My lord chooses who to help. Um, let's, ooh, 30 berries, we can do that easy. Um, we shall assist the king. We need 30 berries. And
and I'm thinking about expanding our village pretty soon because we're running out of space. I might make this a residential area. Maybe this side residential and then this side still the industry. That way we can kind of keep it divided by the road there. Ooh, our berry production is, you know what? Let's um let's slow down with selling berries. So no trade. We'll come back to it later once we have enough for the king. But I wish the person was wanting to buy bread because we have so much bread. Oh my god, we have so many people joining us. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Nothing sold this week? Nobody's buying bread? Everybody just loves their berries. <laughs> that we can't even keep up with. Uh-oh. As more people come in. So, let me just check something here. Is there a way to see... They eat berries. <laughs> um... I'm gonna look something up really quick. Okay, so I looked it up and only commoners will eat bread. So, the, the serfs and just, you know, the new villagers will only eat berries. And that's what's probably causing the issue. Um, so let's go ahead and go to our promotions. How do we do that? Think through, through. Oh, wait. How do we go to promotions? Um, I'm sure there's a way we can see. Is there status? I'm sure there is a way. I guess we have to wait for the for the opportunity to uh, promote someone. So we're not producing enough berries. We're gonna have to actually buy berries. Yeah. Um, hold on. Let's pause it. We need to reorganize here. We we might have a food crisis on our hands. Nobody's buying bread. I don't think anybody will. Is anybody here buying bread? Ah. So we could get this new trade route. They're selling coal, iron, fish, berries. Hmm. But they're buying bread, so we need 20 common clothes, which I think we can do that once we set up the sheep farm and everything. Uh, but we kind of have to wait for now. Uh, we need more berries. We need more berries. I don't know what else to do um okay we'll just press play the pair the berry we can't keep up with it is there any way i could like buy berries i mean we could we could try to buy berries through the trading Buy 20 berries, but I don't think anyone's selling it. We have as many foragers as possible. We're running out of time. We have 30, 56 days. We can deliver, needs resource in granaries. Okay. Every time, every time we, we put berries in there, they're just taken. Dang it, man. What if we assign another transporter? There we go. Four transporters. We can assign more transporters here. I mean, we've got the jobs open. We can assign another builder. And pretty much everyone has a job now with all these new villagers. We need more space. That's what's killing me. We need more space. I was trying to hold off from giving away all those jobs because we're going to need them for the sheep farm and the weaver hut. And then soon the, the tailor. Mm. 
Maybe with more transporters, it will increase the amount of berries we gather. And I would love to buy a new region. We need 500 gold. There, I bought it. I did it. We need to expand our residential area. So, residential. We are going to expand like so. So we can have more space for homes. And we'll leave this area for more industry. We could probably put up another wood cutting location down there too. But honestly guys, we need more berries so I'm going to put another gathering place here to keep up with it. So let's do that now, gathering hut. We'll have it kind of facing the village. We don't have enough gold, that's right. Okay. That's okay, we'll get the gold back quickly. Sheep farm complete, but we don't have anybody to work it. <laughs> uh, that's okay, we should have some new villagers soon. Yes, okay, very nice. The village is coming together very nicely. But I mean, I don't think we have, oh, we still have one villager. Oh, that's right, we need to build another church. We might build another church down here. We could do like a southern church. <laughs> right here. This would be a good spot for some of the residents. We gotta keep up with those churches. We've got enough resources there. Farms are doing well. Okay, now can we build it? There we go. Let's focus on this though. Well, no, 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 no. Let's focus on the berries first. Pri prioritize. prioritize. I, I can never say that right. Happiness is at 99. People are happy. Because everybody has berries. And we can't spare any for the king. We have 121 bread. Are we even making money? One bread was sold. Because we need to promote more people to commoners. Then they'll buy bread. Ah, oh, that was such a big mistake. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Alright, so we're going to speed it up. It's not good. We have buildings that nobody's working. Two people. Thank goodness. So, I will assign one to the sheeps. One to get more berries. Here they come. Here comes the new workers. I think. The weaver hut is complete as well. See, I like this, because the trees kind of block the industry over here. It's pretty cool. Gathering hut is complete. We don't have a village, though. Here's the... T okay, good. Here comes two new villagers. I kind of want to assign them both to the, the gathering hut. Mm. Should we, though? Should we? Eh, let's get... Let's get one to deal with the sheep. And I don't want to spawn the sheep yet. He's costing us all that money. We've got 48 days to get 30 berries. We need more villagers. So I'm expanding a little too quickly. You know... Can we give the king a hundred bread? We have so much bread. Don't know what to do with it. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see over here. Yeah, 79 bread we can just give away. We could try selling the bread, but I, I, I don't think this trader is going to buy any. Because he's just buying berries and planks. You know, from what we're producing now. Yeah, we need more gatherers. If I can get two more villagers, that would be perfect. We're also going to need 
another church to go up because now we're at 40 villagers. 40 villagers. Or we could just continue to expand this church. Mm. It might be a little cheaper to do that, to just expand that church. Four people, yes! Four people! That's exactly what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. So I think I'm also going to set up a mining setup here. That way we can in, uh, set up a stone mason as well. We can put the stone mason here. Alright, berries are going up. We just gotta wait for these new villagers. How many how many pieces of bread have we sold? None. We're not selling bread. It's not doing any good. Eight bread for 96 gold. Oh, that's a lot of gold for bread. <laughs> All right, here we go. Four new villagers. Thank goodness. All right, we need more of them. There we go. Is that everyone? Everyone employed. No, we have two. Two people unemployed. So let's go ahead and max this out to three people. So we can collect more berries. <laughs> and then we'll assign... Hmm, here Spawn sheep. There we go. We got sheep. What does it cost gold to spawn them? Seriously, stop. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we got our sheep. Alright, I don't... <laughs> I guess we'll leave it at that. And so we need to store the wool. I might make a new flower. Yeah, I might make a new granary over here. Because we're starting to run out of space. There they are. There's our sheep. Those adorable sheep. How's the, the berries going? It's not going too hot, but let's just keep moving on. We might we might disappoint the uh, the king. All right, let's put the tailor right there. And then we'll start producing cloth. All right, nice auto save. Big mistake. That was a big mistake. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to get this mission done. 30 berries! I thought we could have done it easy. But every single time. Every time we get some berries, we the we have to take it because we're selling so many. I mean, look how much money. Th almost 300 gold from selling berries. It's going fast. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. That's okay. That's okay. Alright, we need to st store the cloth, which I think we are. Yes, okay. Good, 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 good. So now, all we need is one more villager to be a tailor. And then we can start producing clothes. And when we produce clothes, we are going to unlock this trading and sell a bunch of bread. 10 gold for bread. It's pretty good. Because we have so much bread and nobody's eating it. Move a couple sheep. I right. I like that. Come on, don't abuse. <laughs> it's funny. Too many sheep. I mean, we could buy more land. There's some berries over here. Uh, there's berries over here. Uh, it's just out of the range, though. I'm trying to see anywhere where we could buy more land with berries. No. 
Bad weather is coming, my lord. This prediction of bad weather is coming. I recommend that we stock as much food as while well, we can. Oh, very well. Uh. Well, people can buy bread. I don't, you know, like, just buy bread. <laughs> you don't have to just eat berries. That's like double whammy. Double whammy there. Well, let's not forget, we can also trade um, polished stone. So we should probably get a stone uh, mason. So he can, he can use, because we have so much stone. Like, this would be no big deal. A uh, monk? What? What do you want? No. Oh. Alright, pause. I can't click on the monk. Uh, my lord, the king demands some materials. The clergy wants to renovate some of the churches. Um, what do you need? Planks? I can do that. We'll assist the king because he's gonna be very upset at us. Take the planks. Now, does anybody need bread? We got plenty of that. <laughs> Which is good. It's good to have a stockpile of bread. Okay, more and more bread's being sold. It's nice. It's probably because we don't have any berries. <laughs> That's probably why. Okay, good. So they're starting to buy bread. God, we can't keep up with the berry production. I wonder if we just build another gathering. Can we do that? Or is that just redundant? How's the cloth production going? Okay. Good. Great. 30 cloth. Can we uh, finish this? Oh, we need polished stone! That's embarrassing. Alright, now we definitely need the stonemason. Stonemason hut. We'll put this near where they're mining. And we probably need another church as well. I might just put another church right here. But, I mean, we're so happy, I'm not going to worry about it. We're making good money thanks to thanks to all the bread. Okay, so bad weather's coming, but one decided to join our village. Perfect. Because we need some people to work the stone mason hut. So we can produce some polished stone. Oh man, has it already been an hour? That's crazy. Oh, I guess we have to wrap it up here. Um, so let me do normal speed. Let's uh, let's wait a little bit until we get our new villager. We have 50 villagers now. 50 villagers. That's good. Now, it's actually really good that we, we started making bread because... Our berry industry is not keeping up. There we go. New villager. All right. Assign him to the stone. There we go. And we'll start making polished stone, which we need, one, to sell, and then two, to finish this uh, tailor uh, workshop. That way we can, you know, start making some clothes. Um, we might have to build another warehouse, too. But we'll get to that next time, guys, because we are out of time unfortunately but man what a great episode we expanded a lot we've got farms we've got sheep and we've got bread and soon we're gonna we're gonna have clothes and polished stone which we're gonna be able to look at them hard at work we're gonna be able to uh make some awesome buildings so it's gonna be a lot of fun so i i don't want to say bye i might just go ahead and record the next episode because i'm just like so pumped I, like I'm having so much fun so thank you guys so much for the support I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did and I will see you guys next time so thank you for the thank you for everything guys and uh, yeah we'll see you around so that concludes our fun day at Apollonia bye guys